Singularity is a future period which technological change will be so rapid and its impact so profound that every aspect of human life will be irreversibly transformed. The singularity is a metaphor borrowed from physics to describe what happens when you go through a black hole. Namely, the laws of physics as you know them no longer apply. So they've taken that metaphor from physics and applied it to the world of technology, innovation, and creativity. We're about to see the transformation of the human race. And the conversation I keep having in Silicon Valley goes something like this. People have no idea how fast the world is changing. There's a big difference between linear and exponential growth. If I take 30 steps linearly, one, two, three, four, five, I get to 30. If I take 30 steps exponentially, two, four, eight, 16, I get to a billion. It makes a huge difference. And that really describes information technology. When I was a student at MIT, we all shared one computer, took up a whole building. The computer in your cell phone today is a million times cheaper, a million times smaller, a thousand times more powerful. That's a billion-fold increase in capability per dollar that we've actually experienced since I was a student. And we're going to do it again in the next 25 years. A child in Mumbai having access to knowledge information as good as the President of the United States had 20 or 30 years ago. In 2023, the average computer we go and buy from Best Buy, if they're still around, is now calculating at 10 to the 16th cycles per second, which a neurophysiologist will tell you that's the rate at which your brain does calculations. So what happens when you can buy a human brain for a thousand bucks? An exponential change doesn't end, right? It continues to compound. In the next 25 years, this will shrink down most likely to a device the size of a blood cell. It'll go in our bodies and brains, reverse engineering us from inside out. And these technologies, computers, sensors, networks, AI, robotics, 3D printing, AR, VR, synthetic biology, are literally recombining and giving us unexpected convergent consequences. You can be an expert in one area, but actually understanding where these come together and what they do, the new business models are transforming our planet. When you look at only one line of technological development, automobiles or computers, it looks like you can rationally anticipate what's going to happen. But when you realize that there are thousands of these lines of development all transforming themselves, all moving towards some kind of omega point. Well, here's what gets really sci-fi-esque. Because the world of flesh and the world of concrete are both now becoming information technologies. And so what that means is that they are now subject to the same exponential progress that we've seen in information tech, in digital tech. In the far term, we have to realize that if robots become more, uh, more sophisticated, more intelligent, there is a chance that they could become very, very superior to us, in which case we should think about merging with them. So your calculator is smarter than you are in arithmetic already. Your GPS is smarter than you are in spatial navigation. Google, Bing, are smarter than you are in long-term memory. When Deep Blue beat the world's best chess champion, people thought it was the end of chess. But actually, it turns out that today, the best chess champion in the world is not an AI. And it's not a human. It's the team of a human and an AI. We're heading towards a world of an indefinite lifespan. These are crazy ideas, but they're coming because the tools we have to enable them are accelerating faster than we could possibly know. In addition to radical life extension, we're gonna have radical life expansion. We're gonna have millions of virtual environments to explore. We're gonna ex literally expand our brains. A very near future where a new generation of artists and poets be writing genomes, the fluency that Blake and Byron wrote verses, and the canvas of life itself becoming a canvas for our artistry and our creativity. As we continue to essentially turn our minds inside out and live inside of the condensation of our own imagination and be able to realize and engender our dreams in the world in real time, well, fuck, that's a singularity. We are all gathered here at the end game of developmental processes on this planet. We are about to become unrecognizable.
to ourselves as a species. Uh, our technologies, our religions, uh, our science has pushed us toward this for thousands of years without us awakening to what the denouement would be. Now we stand close enough to it that I think all but the most lumpen among us must feel the tug of the transcendental and the transformative.